Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with another iOS 15 video. In the last one, I demonstrated focus for you, which is a feature that allows you to customize what apps can send you notifications and who can get in touch with you, which is a great way if you're focusing on something, you know, maybe you're at work or maybe you're trying to spend time with family. It's a great way to minimize the distractions and enjoy those activities that you are currently doing. Well, Apple introduced another feature related to notifications, and this is for those apps that we're always downloading new apps and they want to send us notifications. And sometimes they can be a lot. I know like news apps send a lot of notifications. Social media apps can send a lot of notifications. So notification summary is a new feature that allows you to pick a time to receive those notifications. So it allows you to be interrupted less by notifications that are really not urgent and you really do not need to see, you know, right away when they are sent. So with notification summary, those notifications are held until the convenient time that you pick. So let's take a look at how we set this up and what options are available. Okay. Go ahead and unlock my phone here. 447 PM. Okay, there we go. And I will Safari. go ahead and open settings. Weather folder. Settings. Settings. And we need to go down to notifications. Cellular notifications button. Scheduled summary off button. And right there, you see scheduled summary and it is off. So I'll go ahead and double tap on this. Scheduled summary off. And again, it's off, so we can do a double tap to turn it on. On. And now we get our options. So I have modified this slightly. So let's take a look at what's here. Schedule, head, first summary, time picker, 10 a.m. So you can have up to 12 summaries. Now by default, they have two in here for you and they are occurring at 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. But I have modified these slightly and I've added a third summary. So let's take a look at what I did. First summary, time picker, 10 a.m. So I have my first summary at 10 a.m. Second summary, time picker, 6 p.m. My second, I left at 6 p.m. Third summary, time picker, 10 p.m and 10 p.m. for a third. Insert add summary button. And you can add a third summary. So let's go ahead, just so I can show you, we'll add another summary. Insert add summary. Fourth okay, summary, so it says fourth PM. summary now. We can double tap on this to go into the time picker. Picker item, and let's say we want 12. this one at 11.30 p.m. 00 minutes, 02, 05 minutes, 06, 08, 10 minutes, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 7, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 30 minutes, 31 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, p.m. Picker item, and there's p.m. To dismiss pop -up and we can dismiss the pop-up. Fourth summary, add summary. So now we have our four summaries. Show next summary, off. And that option, show next summary, show the next summary in notification center before the scheduled time, allows you to look at notification center to see your next summary before the scheduled time. So you can turn that on if that's something you'd like, show next summary, off. or I, you can leave it off, which is what I'm going to do. Apps in summary, heading. Now you get to pick what apps are in the summary. Selected, daily notification app button, one of two. So you can sort this by Daily notification average, a to Z button, two or two. A to Z. So let's start with notification average. Facebook on. Uber Eats off. Mail off. So these, as you are seeing, are sorted. So these are based on how many notifications I get from these apps on a daily basis. So these, I guess, are the apps that send me Instagram off a lot. Messages off. But we can also sort. Facebook on. A to Z button. By A to Z. Selected. So let's do that. Two two. And I will add Hashtag some. One password off. Amazon off. So let's say Amazon. Oh. Amazon Alexa. Oh. Amtrak off. App Store off. Apple Store off. Say oh. Apple Store. Assistant off. Audible off. 
audible. On, be focused on, be speaker, best buy off. Just on. picking some randomly. Big Ben, up, birthdays, up, blind, birthdays, birthdays off, off, it's a birthday blind notification that. Blindfold, up, blindfold sound search off, blindfold Viva, blindfold wildcard off. Some of the blindfold games. Boston, books, off, books, off, Boston 25, and Boston off. 25. So that's just some that we've added there. Vertical scroll bar, 10, 0, 0 percent. Schedule, heading. And that's all there is to it, really. It's a simple feature, but now the apps that you put in the summary will be sent at those times that are that you selected for the summaries and of course if you want to turn it off you can just turn it off and your notifications will come in as they normally do and you're good to go okay so that is a quick look at notification summary and again it's great especially to minimize how many times a day your phone or iOS device goes off with notifications. So we download so many apps. I know for me, I open an app for the first time and it's like app name would like to send you notifications. And it's like, okay, more notifications, allow. But then you can get a lot of notifications from that app. So it can be nice to minimize the amount of notifications you get per day by putting them into a summary. So you'll still see them, but at a time that might be more convenient. All right, so that's a quick look at notification summary. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this iOS 15 feature demonstration. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications to learn about upcoming videos. You can also keep up to date by following me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching.